We're at about 43 degrees south latitude, well inside the belt of westerly winds that blows around the whole of the southern hemisphere. The weather pattern predicted for today is an extremely common one around here. There's a mass of warm air due to move in off the sea from the northwest. As this warm air moves away from the sea towards the mountains, something crucial will happen to it. Let's take a volume of this air. You can't see it, but it has water in it in the form of vapour. How much vapour depends on the air temperature. This mass of warm air at 30 degrees can hold around 15 grams of water vapour in every kilogram of air. When the temperature of the volume of air goes down beyond a certain point, the water vapour condenses into water droplets. The droplets form around specks of dust or around specks of salt picked up from the sea. We can then see the water as clouds. And when the droplets grow large enough, they fall as rain. On New Zealand's South Island, this whole process happens as the warm air rises and cools against the windward side of the mountains. Two or three times a week you can see it with your own eyes. This is temperate rainforest, one of the rarest vegetation types in the world today. This lush environment not only has a very special look to it, it also has an unmistakable smell of damp humidity and rotting vegetation, all thanks to a particular kind of rainfall produced by mountains in the path of the westerly winds. In these conditions, there's always a huge difference between the rainfall on the windward side of a mountain range and on the other side, the leeward. It happens worldwide where mountains stand in the way of the westerly winds in the temperate latitudes. It's still the same latitude, 43 degrees south, but the rainfall's dropped to just 10% of what it was on the other side. 